Welcome back to part two of the Joy Nook Network self-reflection series hosted by Alunia Renee. What is one fear that you have and why? I've always set the bar pretty high in my life. I take failure very seriously because every day I set out to be the best that I can be. Ultimately, we all fail at some point in our lives with something or some things. But through grace and knowledge, we will reach that goal where we can succeed and failure won't be an option. My biggest fear is public speaking and also going live on YouTube. And I would say the reason why it's my biggest fear is because whenever I get into the public and especially if I'm asked to say something and I haven't planned for it, my brain seems to freeze up and I don't know what to say. But one thing that I have learned from that is practice does make perfect. And I also learned too that the things that I have feared is things that I need to do. Losing my parents, you know, um, my parents have really sacrificed um, so much for me, so much for my family. Um, the sacrifice that they put through for us to be here today is just so much. So that could be one of the things um, that I will find difficulty um, dealing with. But I know with God, um, it'll be possible. One fear that I have <laughs> is honestly that I'm not able to create and leave a legacy for my future generations after me to have a fresh start on and to help influence and encourage a brighter and better future for tomorrow. My biggest goal, when I look at my passion and my purpose for being here on this earth, I really full heartedly believe that my purpose aligns with helping to create an, a better footprint of what was left when I got here. You know, and so when I leave, it's to leave something of substance that can be used for future generations and for the positivity of mankind. So everything that I do, it's for the development of others. And so just that fear that I may not achieve that or that the world may fall backwards, you know, um, and seeing all the different things that's going on in the world right now and the uneasiness, we don't know a lot of stuff that's going on. It makes it easy to, you know, be, you know, in the air of like, what can I expect to happen? I say my greatest fear of all time is losing my children. Like, greatest fear. I don't have like a fear of failure because I feel like, you know, failure are just lessons learned, right? But losing my children or like someone really close to me, and I say my children mainly because I never want there to be a time where, you know, if I go, you know, before they're mature enough to take care of themselves, what does life look like for them, right? And, you know, and if they go before, you know, what may be labeled in my book, you know, too early, how would I deal with that, you know, as a parent? So that's like my number one fear, like ever. What are one to two things that you feel strongly about and why? I feel strongly about facing your fears. And the reason why is because I can honestly say that when I start facing my fears, it just changed my life. And I have learned that the things that I do fear is things that I should do. It's things that God created me for. I also feel strongly about having a genuine relationship with God. And the reason why is because in life, whether you are a Christian or not, you are going to go through difficulties every so often. And one thing that I have learned from my personal experience is that God will bring you through if you trust him. And the only way that you will be able to trust him is by having a good relationship with him. I feel uh, very strongly about, um, 
you know right now actually it's it's something that that a lot of people are talking about global political leadership um i feel very strongly and i really really support the idea that more women should come up and be given uh leadership roles um i admire a, a lot uh, of women yes in, in political leadership and their the stories and articles talking about how the nations that are run by women have managed this pandemic much better than most other countries and one of the women that i really really admire currently is uh, mia motley she's the prime minister of barbados and i really really feel strongly that you know if if, if anything can be a takeaway from from this pandemic if it's a lesson to the world to global political leadership is that women need to be given a chance to lead most times you know um most countries are, are terrified i don't know why most countries are terrified of the idea of female political leaders and not just minister or this or that no but presidencies prime ministerships you know leading our nations that i think it's time first thing it is the betterment of our youth and for them to have a safe space to go to and it's because i know how it feels to be um a youth a teenager who may feel like no one really cares about you no one is paying attention to you no one hears you no one wants to hear you and you're going through and you're holding all of this in on the inside right now at that moment in your journey and I feel so strongly about working with our youth and making sure that our youth have something positive to work with in the future, which is why with my businesses, like once they get to the place of being like big and like wholesaler aspect, it's my goal to hire teenagers for my jobs. Um, hire my teenagers, you know, Let, let's, let's get this going because they need some form of positive of an outlet while they're working and doing the different things that they're doing. And so that's one thing I feel passionate about. The second thing that I feel passionate about is um, the freedom of being yourself. That's what living out loud is all about. It's all about being out loud yourself, not being afraid to be yourself, not being afraid of what other people may say when you're being yourself. And just knowing that no matter what you do, you're not fearful of your truth. You know, you're living in your truth and you're okay with your truth. And so those are the two things that I'm like very like passionate about. I feel strongly about communication because with communication, you are able to convey your wants and your needs, affirmations and more. The second would be financial responsibility. If you're financially responsible, you are able to live a comfortable lifestyle. If you pay your bills on time, your credit score goes up. And once your credit score goes up, you can have just about anything that you desire with a high credit score. I'm living proof of that. This house that I live in is because my credit score was high. Because I was financially responsible, I am able to have all of my heart's desires. It's a really good feeling two things that I feel very strongly about is my faith, my walk in God. As a child of God, when you strongly walk in your purpose, yeah, I think I would say it like that. If you strongly walk in your purpose, if you believe that you were created for something greater than what you see, greater than what that than, than where you are now or greater than what you are doing, if you believe you're created for greatness, you will, you will live your life fulfilled, you will live a life happy. You will not depend on others to make you happy, you will not depend on others to give you satisfaction because you would know that whatever you're going through whatever you are facing right now you would know that um you will know that you are well equipped to achieve those things you are well equipped to to, to go after those dreams and um yeah i think i would say you would actually live a f f fulfilled and um, happy life and the second thing that i'm very passionate about is love um yeah once again because of my faith love when you show love to others love that does not look at mistakes love that does not um discriminate a love that does not judge others unjustly um you will actually live 
I think you'll also be happy. I think that's that's what I always say happiness is a choice. I always used to, I always used to tell myself that happiness is a choice and if you choose to love others and love loving others is also a choice. You choose to choose you choose to follow God. You choose to love others. You choose to overlook their mistakes. You choose, you choose, you choose. So loving others is also one of the very important things. Obviously, I feel strongly about natural hair. I mean, that's like my number one passion, right? And two, of course, it's just mindset. Like, sometimes I feel like we as people get in our own way because of the way we have been trained to think or just how we were conditioned. So, um, those are two things, like, num like number one and number two, that are like very very important to me that are like my like top like passions in life again thank you for tuning in and check out each content creator's information in the description box below stay tuned for part three of the joy nook network self-reflection series